And we do continue our team coverage now, the coverage of the Caldor Fire. We want to go to CBS 13 Steve Large now live in South Lake Tahoe, where the National Guard has set up a roadblock there. Steve, tell us the latest. Well, yeah, this uh, roadblock has been set up for some time, but what a a sight to see, right? Uh, a Humvee right here on the main drag Lake Tahoe Boulevard. But the big change in this area is the hotels. I'm going to tell you about that right now. Take a look. This is Harvey's Casino and Hotel. They locked the doors today for the first time, even while the Caldor fire had been going on for the last week here in the South Lake Tahoe area. Well, they had been open for business. That is now changing. They're closed for business, and we're going to take you out to the main drag here in the intersection, which is closed down. Of course, keep our eye out for traffic, but how ominous is that? That is Lake Tahoe Boulevard. There's the smoke from this fire, the Caldor fire, and there's no one here except for law enforcement. That is really what has become uh, the home of South Lake Tahoe right now. It's uh, the home for law enforcement firefighters now. And here's Harris. They asked all of their guests and evacuees to leave today. They got them in buses and shuttles, about 400 of them. And this is now only going to be home. The rooms will only be home to law enforcement and first responder firefighters. Down the strip a little bit farther, you can see the Mont Blue marquee. It says, stay strong, Lake Tahoe. They also have closed their doors to guests and evacuees. They will only be housing first responders. They're not the only hotels and casinos doing that. Here we have another one, Lake Tahoe Resort Hotel. Take a look in the driveway there. All you see are sheriff's SUV vehicles. We saw some from Fresno County. Uh, so uh, we also saw California National Guard Park back there. So that's the big change here today in Lake Tahoe is these hotels uh, now working with first responders, firefighters, and this firefight, housing them because there are more and more personnel coming down and uh, from a federal perspective, from a state perspective, to try and get uh, a grip on this fire. Well, Steve, it's really interesting because uh, we knew the evacuation orders were all around state line, but uh, they did not indicate there was an order there. So clearly they're they're getting people out of town. They don't want people there if they're not there. But do we have any indication where the evacuees who are staying at those hotels where they were bused to? Yeah, well, the, the owners of these hotels have properties in Reno as well. So many of them have been invited to get rooms there at, at the Reno properties. And we're also told that uh, for those who choose not to uh, take them up on that offer, that they're busing them to uh, the Reno uh, Red Cross shelter as well. So there are some options that they're giving the guests and evacuees at this hour. All right, Steve, thank you.